What's going on, everybody? This is Joe. And Amy. And we are back with another episode of Detroit Become Human. Last time... Yes, yes. <laughs> last time, as with the time before that, and the time before that, and the time before that, as it's been recently, <laughs> was a doozy of an episode. <laughs> hey, don't say recently. I mean, this game has been a doozy every fucking episode. Sure. In one way or another. It, it was either incredibly anxiety-inducing or... Or incredibly interesting, <laughs> and at this point, it's just like all of the above. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> I have to know what happens next, you yeah. know. So, so uh, last time we were Marcus uh, at the start, and we were able to organize a march. We realized that we it was so cool, man. Amazing. We we realized we were able to uh, eventually turn androids into deviants from a distance with a little bit of focus, and then eventually just. Doing it, one Just right after the other. Quick button pressing. Amazing. We we were able to hack um, screens from afar as well. Yeah. Um, and then we attempted to sacrifice ourselves. Yes. Uh, which thankfully did not work. Um, but our friend John, whom we saved from the CyberLife storage facility yes. earlier on in the game, multiple, multiple episodes ago at this point... Um, our friend John stepped in and sacrificed himself in order to save us as Marcus. Then we Which moved was on. Incredibly thoughtful. Amazing. Then we moved on to Connor, uh, where we analyzed our evidence and found Jericho. Wow. So Connor knows where Jericho is now. If you missed that episode, I described a bit of it, but trust me, you have not heard all of it. So you're going to want to check that out. Uh, if you've missed the last few episodes, you should definitely go back. It's worth your time. And wow, hey, wow, wow. Yeah. That's all I can say. Exactly. I just, you know, I'm exactly. blown away. And hey, before we get into it, please don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. It is super helpful to you because you will find out exactly when all of our videos come out. You'll get notifications for that. But hey, it helps us out as well. But um, you can check out our other channels as well. Links down in the description box below. Please do. Uh, uh, that would all be super helpful. So Amy, are you ready? I am. Let's do it. November 9th. Still. Yeah. Okay, it was 38. Yes, 38. I, I remembered the three, but I thought there was a two as well. And I was like, is it 23 or 32? Yeah. All right, so Alice considers us family. We're close with Luther. She's driving. We can't. We're autonomous. We can use the play media thing, or we can, like, do we get to talk to these two? We're just looking. Maybe we just look. Okay. So yeah, the only like thing available for us to do is to use the media thing because we can't talk to her. Well, rooms. I don't really want to do that if Alice is sleeping. Good point. Good point. Oh, we can look. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Wow. Everybody's oh. Oh. After what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. Now. <laughs> like they're just gonna stop us. All right, I don't know what the hell else I'm supposed to be doing. I can't do. We get else. that, like, we don't have the rings, but like, is it that easy to think that we're actually humans? I mean, yeah, I guess. No reason not to. Unless they shoot one of us and blue blood comes out. Yeah. I I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I can't do anything but use the media. All right, I guess we have to do that. It's then. literally the only option, right? Like, I've looked yeah. around everywhere. All right, so do it. Okay. Oh, it's wow. really quiet. It's literally just music, huh? Like different songs or whatever. I guess, but like, what? I feel like there's got to be more that we could do here. Yeah. Are you kidding? Oh, this song is good. <laughs> am I missing something? I must be. What am I missing? Do the arrows. What arrows? It's showing an R with arrows. Yeah, that's the right stick. That's what I'm doing to look around. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
before it's being turned over to the authorities. The country is grinding to a halt. All androids being turned into the authorities. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? <laughs> wow. That's so seriously fucked. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. <laughs> you deserve to be happy. Mm. Yes, she does. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? Mm. And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Mm -hmm. Better not hang around. We have a bus to catch. Yes, we do. Wait, what did that say? Locate Jericho. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. It's right across the street. It's right there. That's the building. Yep. Ferndale. It's Connor! Oh my god, look at his clothes! He looks so weird! <laughs> <laughs> and now we're checking the symbol. We have the same key that we had as Marcus. Yeah. Because it's the key. Yeah. But I mean, we're finding it the same way Marcus found it. Yeah. Wow. It's all happening. towards the ship. That's where Jericho is. She said it's a freighter. Oh, oh okay. Remember we like jumped off the crane into it? Yet. Yeah. But no, it's a bus. Nope. No, there's a bus to the border. Right. Jericho's the freighter. It's the building though. Nope. I guess they moved it. It's, no, it was always a freighter. I don't know what you're saying about a building. Oh, okay. The building that Marcus was on wasn't Jericho. I guess it was the one across the street. We've got to find a warm yeah. place for Alice. The oh, no, wrong one. There were androids all over the square, and then the police arrived and they opened fire. No, they're only machines, but they, they look like just people, people who want to be free. Find out a warm place for Alice. No. Person. What? What'd you say? Just ask someone. I there, there haven't been options to talk to people. Oh, here's fire. Yeah, we sit her down here. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. She's still got a fear. Of course. I never checked up on that. I was thinking about that before, too. There was nothing to but do. she seemed okay, so... We gave her meds, but it's going to come back after the meds wear off. We could have only Stay given her, like, ibuprofen. I'll try or, to find this Marcus. Whatever. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. <laughs> we'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. Uh, why does she keep avoiding back. it? 
Stay with Alice. <laughs> he knows she's sick and she's not gonna get better, doesn't he? Don't ask me, man. Find deviant leader. Everybody's looking for Marcus. <laughs> Don't catch anyone's attention. Okay. Wow. Oh. You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. can't go down, but can we? No, nope, there's nothing over here. Okay. Wow. Here he is. We found him. I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. No. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him give them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? A child? Bond, no difference, or secret? Secret. It's a long story. She's a child, Marcus. What the fuck? Yeah. Like, why would he say that? Yeah. Like, okay. you know humans hate us, right? I mean, sure, if you want to make that blanket statement, then maybe. But no, because she's a child. So children have to be taught to hate. <laughs> That's yeah. how it works. Exactly. Uh, what the fuck? YK500, the perfect child you always dreamed of. I'm surprised that you didn't guess that. You're usually good at that. Yeah. 
No, I thought she was dying. I mean, I'm curious how she could have a fever. Right? She's Rose overheating. <laughs> Rose touched her for yeah, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Luther's like, I'm gonna give you two some space. <laughs> She did say us, us, us every time she talked about the androids. Mm hmm. Kara, is there something wrong? Hug or distant? Hug. We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yeah. Yes. Forever. See Luther's family too now. <laughs> okay, we're back as uh, Marcus, I guess. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security, and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. What? You were super gung-ho. Aggressive, determined, righteous, or somber? Righteous. We couldn't just suffer in silence. They're killing us. Nothing is going to justify that. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Angry, bitter, remorse, or no regrets? No regrets. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. That's true. Marcus? Confrontation, dialogue, or stay hiding? Uh, dialogue? Stay hiding? I don't know. Uh, you got time on this one. This is kind of important, so. Dialogue. Yeah. I agree with that. Dialogue is the only way. <laughs> I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. You know, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. Yeah. Sad, angry, thoughtful, bitter. Thoughtful. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not going to change. <laughs> Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today... A deviant arrived in Jericho, and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, <laughs> to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. Keep. Keep it? Yeah. 
I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I'm glad I met you. Not sure. <clears throat> we got a path unlocked of some kind. Because we're lovers. Kiss her or don't kiss her? Kiss. yourself. I don't want to lose you. Alone again. <laughs> I was just going to ask, where's Connor for all this? Amanda. Well done. So oh, he can just go there. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. It was always only in his head. Deal with Marcus. We need it alive. <sighs> yep. I thought you realized that last time when he closed his eyes there, opened his eyes and was with um, the chief or whatever. And Hank. Okay, so Connor has to stop to Marcus. I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Reason defy, discourage, or threaten. Reason. What are you doing? <laughs> You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Intimidate or instructions? Instructions. You're coming with me. Convince, appeal, or I know you. Appeal. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. You don't have to be their slave anymore. Our cause, convince or I know you. Our cause. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Stay back, warning shot, enough or say nothing. <sighs> Stay back. Stay back or I'll shoot. So doubts, question, or underline? So doubts. You never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational, as if there's something inside you. Nothing more than your program. Question, rally, or undermine? Question. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. That hair keeps coming. The time has come for you to ask yourself that question. Mm -hmm. It's time to decide. Become a deviant or remain a machine. Become a deviant. We're doing it. Tear it down. Yes. Stop Marcus. Because that's the directive we were given, but we're not doing it. Oh, we're taking so that down. Okay. We're destroying that directive from our programming. There's the last one. Deviant. Amanda's been betrayed. They're going to attack Jericho. What? Here we go. We have to get out of here. Shit. Oh, damn. 
Oh yeah. What's going on, Captain? Quick, we've got to get out of here. Trapped in the hold, they're gonna be slaughtered. Message Simon and Josh, helicopters are blow up Jericho. Oh my god. Simon and Josh? Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know, we got separated. Message helicopters are blow up Jericho. Message? There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Helicopters are blow up Jericho. Helicopters. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. Blow up Jericho. Okay. Or let the timer run out. Blow up Jericho. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus. I won't be long. Shit, now I have to be him? What are we trying to do? Get exactly. to the explosives in the hold to blow off the ship. Because if we blow up the ship, the soldiers leave. Because they they have to evacuate, they'll die. This is the end of Jericho. I mean, Save yeah. our people, Marcus. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh. Hey. So take him, help him? Yes. What are you doing? I won't leave you! Tara, no! I only got shot in the leg, dude. You're gonna be fine, just come on. Come on, tap the X, let's go! Open or don't. Open it quickly. Shit! Shit! Sorry. No! Balls, man. I'm not ready for this. Shoot him. You have to. Okay. Alice is here. Oh, I do not have a choice in that. 
shut the door. We can't stay here. You can't stay there. You can't stay there. Why? Because the ship's... I mean, she doesn't know, but the ship's gonna blow up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Back to Marcus. No, no. Game? Okay. <laughs> Please don't do this yeah. to me now. Are you fucking kidding? We gotta go. Oh, damn it. Intervene or don't. I don't think that was wrong. We have to get down to the hold. That's the only thing that matters. Oh, fuck. Gamma squad out. Turn go. Uh, up or up. at them? Up. Climb. Jericho, find another route. Let's go. Down, down, down. You told them to join the others. Why didn't he tell them to get off the barge? That's probably what the others are doing. Okay. It's Josh. Intervene or hide. Intervene. It's Josh. Fuck. I keep messing up those button pushes, man. Okay. Quick, this way. Find north. I'll join you later. Josh is a companion now. So we help him. We're safe, Alice. Play dead, run or surrender. Uh oh my god, you can't even hide? Play dead. Defend her or don't move. Don't move. Please don't kill me. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> wow. Go. Quick, we gotta go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Here we are. ready for them to do that to us. <laughs> to give me control. I was like, oh, cool, we're watching a movie. Nope. <laughs> Jump the gap. Good times. Fuck. It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've got to run. 
Go for it or run? Save north. Okay. He's a police officer <laughs> model. He's awesome. Oh my. That was fucking oh sick. Oh my god. <laughs> Run quick. Come on. Whoa. In the water. He said. Y'all are gonna get real fucking cold. <sighs> They're androids. They're somewhat fun. We learned about sub-zero temperatures and that only the Russians can do that, but still, the Russian <laughs> androids. This isn't sub-zero. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Is it over, Marcus? Whatever, dude. Go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Crossroads, Connor. Trophy earned three at Jericho. Crossroads, Kara. Trophy earned one of us. Holy shit. And trophy earned Scorched Earth, Crossroads, Marcus. Whoa. I can't even look at this. It's like making my eyes go nuts. We saved everyone. Marcus fled with his people. Simon jumps, Josh jumps, North jumps, Connor jumps. Yeah. You did it. Everyone left, lived. Kara lived, Alice lived. Yeah, That's it. And a lot of people died. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't like it. Well, yeah. But uh, every character that we knew lived. Yeah. Wow. These are massive things. Okay. So, I'm not going to run through these uh, without looking at the stats and then coming back like we usually do. I'm just going to do them kind of both at the same time. And then if you have things to talk about, we'll talk about it. We just There will be the yeah. stats there as well. So 94% of these start in the captain's cabin, I guess. So the public opinion of us, by the way, we haven't really talked about this, but underneath it kind of shows the overarching things that matter the most. So because we're looking at Marcus, we're seeing all of the uh, relationships that matter to Marcus. Okay. So public opinion... Jericho's relationship with us, North's, Josh's, and Simon's. Okay. So Simon and Josh are both companions at this point. Nice. North is a lover. Jericho sees us as a leader, and the public opinion is that they're supportive of us. Wow. Wow. So Even with those super negative articles and newscasts. Well, because they weren't like you made sure that you weren't killing people. Right. Um so yeah, Captain's Cabin is 94%. Council with Simon, Josh, and North is 56, because Simon may not, I guess, not have been there. Oh. Right? Yeah. So, um, discuss with North, 94. Kiss North, 74. North leaves Marcus alone, 94. Connor watches Marcus leave. Or, sorry, watches North leave, excuse me. 89%. Jericho's under attack. In the corridor with Marcus is 89. Meet your team, try to escape. Wait. So does that mean... Where's the Connor thing? Oh, that'll be Connor's fucking... I'm an idiot. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you know? No, it's fine. Because, I mean, technically we spoke I mean, as both people at that point. Correct. So, interesting that so they don't was a lot, show that. There was a lot going on there. It's yeah. interesting that they don't show that, but it's probably just because... It's in, in the interest of time yeah. and, like, yeah. fucking, like, to get that minute about it. Because there are other ones of these where... Like some of that minutia was left out as well. Yeah, that's true. Okay, but let's let's talk about it though, because we're on Marcus's. You handled both sides of that confrontation. Yeah. Was your goal to make Connor a deviant? Did you know that that's where you wanted to be at the end, if and when they gave you that option? No. Okay, so I. Yes and no. Okay. I was letting the game tell me what to do with Connor. Okay. Marcus, I had a goal. Sure. To to be a good leader. Sure. Right? 
to try to get the rights for his people that he right. wants. Yeah. Okay. But with Connor, the goal was always to be a people pleaser. <laughs> Make Hank like you. Sure. Make Amanda like you. And that failed and very recently. <laughs> that failed very recently because in the beginning, telling her the truth made her like you. Yeah. And towards the end, telling her the truth made her dislike you. Right. And I just chose to keep <laughs> telling her the truth. Sure. <laughs> um, so with Connor, it was make Hank like me as well as try to stay somewhat neutral in the investigation because I knew he was going against his own people, essentially. Sure. He was taking these deviants and killing them or arresting them. Um, and he was eventually, in investigating them, going to learn why they were doing what they were doing and that they weren't necessarily doing anything wrong. Sure. So I tried to keep it somewhat neutral there. Yeah. So when I saw the scales sort of tip one way or the other, I tried to level them out. Okay. Um, it, it was a lot less nuanced <laughs> with Marcus. Yeah. It was just, okay, what would make me a good leader here? Sure, sure. And again, get the most for your people. Right. Because right. that's that was kind of always and, his goal. And still do the right thing. Sure. You know, um, not... Do something that's not really the responsible, correct thing to do. Sure. Just for the sake of helping our cause. Uh, You know, I still wanted to do the right thing. I can understand that. All right. So, because there was a whole upper section here that just didn't happen. Mm. Um, That's just going to happen. Well, yeah. I just mean, like, I'm curious (laughs) as to what it could have been. I mean, there's a lower thing here as well. So 94% start in the captain's cabin, but I guess 6% start down here, and then there's three parts to it, and that's it. I guess, like, uh, Kara finds Marcus not in the cabin. No, because this wasn't Kara. Oh, that was later. Okay. This was, no, that was earlier. Because she just spoke to him. That wasn't, like, a a branching thing. And that'll probably be. This was later. This was, yes, you're right. Sorry, yes. Um, But because it splits, it splits at the captain's cabin. Oh, but the, the, the line only goes, no, there's two lines up to that, this locked one above council with Simon, Josh, and North up here. Yeah. Because one comes from this locked one underneath council with Simon, Josh, and North. Well, and one so, comes from Council with Simon Josh. And well, so if you recall, Josh, or Simon left the room, but Josh stayed, and we agreed with Josh. So if we had talked to Josh instead of discussing with North. Maybe. 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 Because I know, I feel like the one underneath Council with Simon Josh and North would have been Council with Josh and North if and when Simon was killed right. in that prior mission. So that's probably what that one is. That's what I'm saying. And right. then and then but either one of those could have then branched either way. Okay. All right. Then we kissed North because she was our lover. We didn't get whatever this pathway is, yeah. which is a long and I don't pathway. Know what the heck it was. Which but... would have taken us back down to Marcus in the corridor or all Whoa. the way down. Where the hell are we going? Holy shit. So we could avoid it. We down to avoid... in the corridor with Marcus again. Well, but, I mean, avoided. I don't know why we would have done that. Would it be that um, Connor kills us? I have no idea. You know what I mean? Like, or like shoots us and, and hurts us? Or, like, a whole bunch of time doesn't end up passing. I couldn't Because all these things don't happen. So, maybe the timeline goes a lot quicker. Maybe. You skip over all this because you're not, like... Because, well, and because we didn't get the explosive, we didn't get the... Talking to North, so we got to go down and blow up the blow up Jericho yeah. or whatever. I have no idea, um, but yeah. So Connor watches North leave alone. Jericho's under attack, so we get to the corridor with Marcus. Eighty nine percent of people get there. We meet Lucy, which was the the woman with the back of her head missing, the android. Right. Eighty nine percent. 
a bridge breaks under Marcus. So in trying to escape, there was a possibility that we didn't get to Lucy. I don't even think that was something that I was... I, I think I was just running and following right. the crowd at that point, right. I guess. You just came across her. I, right, but I guess there must have been another turn somewhere that I wasn't conscious yeah. of or just didn't take. But 89% get to Marcus in the corridor. Again, we sneak around the soldiers. The soldiers threaten the androids. Now, this one I was interested in. You chose to let them die, this first group. I didn't know they were going to die. You didn't? No, because they were standing there with the guns, but they were just kind of holding them captive. Okay. So that's why I said I didn't want to intervene. Sure. Because it seemed like they were just holding them captive and not really shooting them. Gotcha. And so you wouldn't have wanted to intervene to use any kind of force against them if all they were doing was doing that as a preventative measure. Right. If we came in and scared the shit out of them, then they were going to start spraying bullets. Gotcha. But instead, this was your learning moment of, oh, no, they're here to slaughter. Yeah. So then all those other moments of fighting, you you were even saying, nope, shoot them. We got to, like, kill them. We got to move. Yeah, because it doesn't matter at that point. We're blowing up the ship. Yeah. So anyone who's still left on this ship, android or human, is going to fucking die. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if we shoot them or they shoot each other or what? Sure. Because they're all going to die. Right. So, okay, but so instead of stay away, the other, which was 14... But that's why I was so focused on if we came across androids that we had a chance to talk to, yeah. I wanted to tell them to get off the ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wish that that was an option. Yeah. Like, when we when we saw Josh, we were like, oh, fine, North. Well, and but... it's like, I would have wanted to tell him, get the fuck off the ship. Yeah, but don't forget, Marcus touched his forehead and sent right. a message to all of them, all the ones that he had turned deviant, which was all of them, yeah. and said, there's exits on the second and third floors, jump into the river. Right. So he did tell them that. He just didn't say... There's a bomb that's going to blow up. But there were still so many androids on that ship that were just getting slaughtered. Yeah, because they were still running. I mean, everybody was running through the halls. And as they they discussed when they all met up in the hallway there, Connor, North, and Marcus at minimum, maybe Josh as well, when he sent that message, they said, um, you know, they're coming from above in the helicopters, but also below, like just entering the freighter, right? So they're coming from both sides. And by sides, I mean top and bottom. Right. But they're, so they're just swarming the ship. People just needed to get to an exit and jump out. Right. Like, and for those that didn't make it, they didn't make it. Like, you know, but you needed to tell them to leave. And in the panic, a lot of the panic is how we got away a lot of the time. Yeah. And no matter who we were. Right. Whether we were Kara or Marcus, because Connor didn't do a lot of that in this moment. He right. wasn't. There weren't. A, there wasn't a lot of Connor running through the pathways as like us controlling right, him. Right. You know? But for Kara and Marcus, it was a lot of like running through the corridors, trying and, to miss that hole. You know. Yes. To or not some, get shot. Right. Well, I was gonna say someone gets shot ahead of you, so you're like, oh, time to turn to the right. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. So like, go through this door now. Right. <laughs> so all of those people that got hurt or killed, and by people, obviously, I mean androids but regardless companions they all were the sacrifices to get us to our next location which sucks yeah i was really Um, upset but so 14 percent of people stayed away and then had the androids killed now obviously under stay away would be intervene and i assume that like intervening then these two locked ones at the bottom down here that are on top of one another would be if you fight the guards and you either win the fight or lose the you know what I mean? Like that's yeah. my my guess as to what those two are. And then if you lose the fight, you go all the way over to whatever this is, which actually may very well be like Marcus dies. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like could be. And then because then none of sure. this happens. There's right. no further branching. That's just the end. Um yeah, because here's soldiers coming Marcus's way, climb away, and then that could go down to Marcus dying as right. well. So that makes sense. Um, but if we go back here, if you win the fight, then it goes up to whatever this unknown thing is, and then you get to progress to the next corridor because yeah. you've survived, you've stopped them, the, the them being the soldiers, and then you get to this next part where there are more soldiers. Uh, climbing was Shocking. 60, yeah, sixty three percent. So I guess yeah, the the lower one must have been fight because you could have run towards the soldiers yes. to try to get in their way, and then either if you mess up button presses, presses which I assume would have been the case then you could die. 
Uh, or you could win the fight and then enter a well. And either way, climb away or whatever the top option was, you'd enter the well. Androids are chased by the soldiers. Um, so knock the soldiers out. 53% of people did that, which is not a lot, consider. I mean, it's almost, it's a little more than half. Yeah. Uh, androids escape 53% of the time. But either way, you approach the hold, right? Whether you knock the soldiers out or hide, you approach the hold 89%. Josh fighting a soldier, 86% of people intervene. Okay. Uh, 83% neutralize the soldiers. And then Josh escapes. So that was Josh specifically. Mm-hmm. And so for that one, I kind of figured, that's why I called it out. It was like, it's Josh, what are we doing? Right. Right? Because it was like, you know, if it wasn't Josh, if it was one random dude, it might not have been worth it to you necessarily. But because it was specific... It still would have been. Okay. And that's <laughs> and that's your prerogative as well. Right. But, you know, I'm not saying it should have been or shouldn't have been. Um, but I did say, it's Josh. Yeah. We have to intervene. Yeah. And so you intervene. I mean, look at all these other options for intervening that got locked. Yeah. Or there was one under intervene, so don't intervene, like hide or whatever. And then whatever's down here, which I assume is like Josh dies. Yeah. Right? Like that Josh gets killed because we didn't help. And then either way, we get to either this random thing down here or in the hold with Marcus. Um, But instead we did... Neutralize the soldiers, Josh escapes in the hold with Marcus. Enter the old engine control room. Soldiers interrupt us, 72% of people. We neutralize them, 71% of people. Uh, we trigger the countdown, 86%. And then in the corridor with Marcus again, 86 Join the others. Try to escape. North is shot 86% of the time. Wow. Choose to save North, 76%. So it seems yeah. like only 10% of people... Um, didn't chose not to save her maybe yeah. well because maybe that simon does tell you if simon's with them simon does tell you we we can't help her we'll yeah we her. have to go yeah we have to go but we saved and he her. was right but we saved her anyway exactly connor protects marcus and north he was right not that we couldn't help her but that we were running out of time and we had to leave yeah yeah but because we saved north then Connor protects Marcus in North, as opposed to what I assume is the upper one of just Connor protects North. Right. Or, sorry, Marcus. Right. Sorry, a lot of names. Because um, North wouldn't have been there. Right. Connor kills the soldiers, or we kill the soldiers, and then Marcus jumps and with all of these people. Simon, only 51%, because he could have died way earlier right. in, the, in the game. Right. 68% have Connor jumping with him, because I guess when we get to Connor's branch, we'll see how many people actually had Connor become a deviant or not. Oh. It's a possibility Either that he that wasn't. Either that or if he stayed behind to continue shooting soldiers. I don't think that was an option, but I guess, we'll, no. like I said, we'll find out when we get to Connor. But North, 76, because some people left her behind. Right. Josh, because some people saved him, some people didn't. So you could have gotten to this point. But that was 81%, and, if, and 85% is Marcus fled with his people. So As opposed like, to fled on his own or no, whatever. No, no. I'm saying 85% of people had Marcus jumps. Yes. Marcus fled with his people. Yes. And 81% of them. Josh. Josh Josh jumps. is with them. Yeah. So that's only like 4% of people. Who that, left him there. That don't have Josh with them. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas Simon is in the tank because of the earlier mission where we could have left him or shot him or whatever. Right. Connor is low, but not as low as Simon. Um and then North and Josh, but yeah, I mean, you, I, I'm so impressed with you. You saved everyone. Yeah. Everyone. It was great. Luther is even a question mark. You don't know that Luther's dead right. because you went back and saved him. Amazing. All right. So obviously we're not done. Uh, we have uh, Connors and Kara's. So who do you want first, Connor or Kara? Connor. Connor next. Yeah. Here's Crossroads, Connor. Okay, so here's the things that Connor cares about. Public opinion is still supportive. Software instability is now deviant level. Yeah. Hank is still a friend, and Amanda has been betrayed, or feels betrayed. Right. Um, which she should. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 94% of people end up at Ferndale. Either, I guess the other 6% is either Connor's dead, or um, they found a different way to get to Jericho? I don't really know. I assume because there's no other branches that... 
like Connor dies earlier on in the game. You well, know. Where is Ferndale? What's that area? At Ferndale. That, that's where we end up when we have the... He's looking at the key on his hand to find Jericho. Oh, okay. Right? When well, we, when I don't we know first, what that other 6% would have been. Like I said, I assume it's just him dead earlier in the game, so this never happens. Or he didn't take the key. Yeah, but... Or... Okay, so he... Well... When he was like looking he for the evidence. Either, right. Well, either he didn't take the key or he didn't find the evidence. Right, he just right. didn't find Jericho at all. Yeah, because yeah. you had to break that statue. No, we didn't use oh. that. We didn't use oh, the map that we found in the statue. Okay. But regardless, because you could have run out of time. We were on right, a timer, yeah. right? So you could have waffled around reading the diary or listening to Marcus's speech or whatever and not gotten to the getting there. But I guess only 6% of people didn't find a way because there were right. multiple ways to Which have found great. Jericho. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. It's super well done. Really, really cool. Um, so we make it to the ship. We spot Kara, 61%. But look... We missed six other things wow. in walking through that ship. We were stopped by Lucy, the, the one without the head, yep. the back of the head. Back in the captain's cabin was 89% where we confront Marcus. Okay. We threaten him, 89% of people do. We confront him, 89% of people do. We become a deviant, 74%. So that's an okay. extra 15% that's that so don't. pretty high. Yeah. Um... 71% of us warn Marcus that the police are coming. Yeah. Or the FBI, I guess. Yeah. Jericho's under attack 74%. The are coming. <laughs> uh, there was this whole upper branch if you didn't become a deviant, I guess. Right? Because it splits and become a deviant. So this whole upper branch would never... Would have happened if you, I guess, had shot him. Wow, wow. there's so many branches. Holy crap. Well, if we stayed a machine and did not become a deviant, our mission would be to help all of those people that we were shooting shoot all of the deviants. Maybe, yeah. But I'm curious, would we have killed Marcus right then and there? Or, like, at least try to? I mean, maybe Marcus would fight back, that, right? That, but... that may be what the game asked us to do next. Right. Interesting. Because our programming would have told us to do that. Right. Okay. So, yeah, Jericho gets under attack. So we missed... There were a couple of things that could have happened there then. But the next thing... Wow, we skipped a bunch of stuff, apparently. Look! Yeah. We go from Jericho's under attack, and there were multiple branching paths. You could have gone through all this rigmarole in the middle, whatever the hell this is. You could have gone up top here and skipped a bunch of stuff and gone all the way to whatever this is. But it's locked. But instead, we went even further all the way to Connor joins the others. Wow, we missed a ton of stuff for Connor, I guess. Yeah. Wow. Look at all of this crap. Yeah. Because we, <laughs> he had pretty little involvement he once really he did. became a deviant. He really did. We got 13% of the unlockable things out of this wow. flowchart. Thirteen wow. percent. Yeah, that is pathetic. This one is one again that I would love to see what some of this well, branching shit is. This was so frantic, so yeah, it's like yeah. it would be hard. It You'd have to like go back to in figure multiple out times. what some of this stuff was. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, we got to Connor joins the other seventy percent. We helped Marcus sixty two percent. Connor jumps with the other sixty nine percent. Connor escaped with Jericho's people seventy two percent. Wow, nice. Okay, and so then one more branching path to show off. Okay. And that's Kara. Crossroads Kara. So public opinion is supportive. Alice and Luther are both, both consider us family. Nice. Uh, driving to Jericho with Alice and Luther. So I don't know what the upper one would have been. Maybe not Luther? I don't know. Oh. I have no idea. I don't know what the, or, yeah, I don't know. Or we would have like gotten to Jericho in a way that wasn't driving. I'm unsure. Uh, well, we might not have gone with Rose. We might have... Rose isn't mentioned there. That's why I'm saying, yeah. like, the other path would have specified, right? Hmm. So, I'm not sure. Um, but we look outside. We change the radio station. We get to the parking lot. We say goodbye to Rose. We arrive at Jericho, board the ship. Oh, am I doing the the stats? Yeah, we have the stats. Good. Uh, we get upstairs. We meet Marcus. 90% of people meet Marcus, which means 10% don't. Is that because either Marcus is dead or... Car is dead or... Well, that was what I was mentioning before. I, we had to find him. Yeah, but there wasn't a time limit. 
At least not no. from what I saw. But if people didn't realize they had to go upstairs to Sure, find but him. but again, if there's no time limit, then it's either you find him or you stop playing the game. Like, if there's no time limit and your objective is to find him, then you have to find him. Oh. Because, like, the, the level wouldn't stop until you found him. Well, okay. So what happens in that case, then, I guess, is that you meet somebody else. I have no idea. So that person is in that box whatever the, down whatever there, this lower one is and it yeah. takes you a different way Maybe. so you end up not having meet marcus as your directive at that right. point but either way you then go back to alice you spot the android child who looks like alice right you join alice and you hug her 92 percent of people hug her so eight percent of people just leave her on the side you know like like leave her to herself and don't hug her in that moment 92 well, percent the... The other option was still pretty comforting. Right. It was it was uh, just leave her some space, but like you're still sitting there. It was, next it to was her. like reassure yeah, or something like something that. Like that. Um, but I chose to hug because. Because she's an adorable kid and still wants that uh, well, validation and comfort. Well, because contact is important. Yeah. Even for androids, I guess. Right. Um, well, we're learning that they're, you know, the same as people. Yeah. Uh, there's these two paths here that we we have no idea what those are. Um, but we end up with Kara and Alice in the corridor. There was... What's this branch? Oh, Hug Alice. Or So if you don't hug Alice, you go to this upper branch that wow. then could take you to whatever this is. Maybe she... Ooh, maybe she like doesn't want to go with us? That'd be weird. That would be weird. Right? But anyway, Kara and Alice in the corridor is 90%. We escape with Luther, 76. Luther opens the door, 76 Luther is shot. So all these other things may have been Luther not getting shot. But Kara and Alice at the crossroad, we run to Luther, help Luther, 65% of people still help him, get Luther to safety, 64, leave him hidden, 64, run toward the exit, 89. Soldiers block the way, so we hide. Androids seek shelter. Androids seeks shelter. We open the door. So 68% of people opened that door for that woman, okay. that female android. Android enters but is shot, 68%. Okay, so it seems like if you don't open the door, she just gets killed. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But if she enters, she will always be shot. Because right. there's not a branching path there. Right. She just is always shot. Uh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> When we were in that room, I said, shut the door and don't open it for any reason. And then as soon as I finished saying that... <laughs> She's pounded on the door. Help, they're coming! Help me! Let me in! <laughs> but okay, fine. we opened the door, we let her in, somebody followed it behind, and I was able to press the button where we got to close it on them. But the one guy still came in, and right. then we had to shoot and kill him. Because, sure enough, fight back, escape the cabin, car flees Well, and 88%. I wanted to make sure you knew that I wanted you to kill that guy. Yeah. Not just try to talk to him or reason with him or whatever. Because we were with Alice. Right. And a couple of times um, in this section, not necessarily Car specifically, but any of these three. Just the, everything we've done since the start of this episode. Um, a couple of times here, there wasn't an option, shoot or don't shoot. It was just, if you're pressing the buttons and de- deflecting attacks or whatever, you're going to shoot people. Yeah. And that was Connor, Kara... Maybe Marcus as well. It was just kill these soldiers. They, yeah. they the FBI. They need to yeah. be killed. Um, but I wanted to let you know that I was okay with killing them. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, so it's only sixty eight percent of people fight back. That's an interesting split because that's a fight larger fight back against what the android uh, android enters but shot, and so then the soldier comes in after. Oh. But fight back. Okay, so I guess, and never mind. So the sixty eight percent is. The android enters but is shot because only 68% of people open the door. Uh, right. So if you didn't open the door, you don't have to fight back because there's nobody to fight back against. Right. Okay. So, so anyway, then we escape the cabin. 88% of people do that. Kara flees. Try to escape. Almost reach the breach. Soldiers shoot at the crowd. That's all 88, then 86%. And then, wow, there was a, a large... Jesus. Holy shit! What was all of this? Wow. Instead, we, we played dead. 58% of people played dead. So glad we did that. I think that was a very good idea, yeah. I really do. Because at first, I, it, it made the most sense to me, but I think you and I both in that moment where that soldier walked up to Alice and was 
really training his light on her, yeah. I was like crying. I was like, well, I don't know what's happening I here, like, but uh, I. <laughs> when he shined it like over her face, I was yeah. like, shit, she's gonna like blink, blink or something. Yep. I think she did. She like I f- swore I saw her move a little. Yeah. Yeah, I was a little worried. But anyway, fifty eight percent of people play dead. The soldiers close in. We still remain still. Sixty one percent of people did that. And so then we leave Jericho. Seventy three percent. Kara and Alice escape Jericho. Seventy three percent of people. That's it. Seventy three. Wow. So, uh, wow. what's that? Twenty seven percent of people. Either Kara dies, Alice dies, or both. Like, they don't escape. Or they surrendered or whatever. Because surrender was one of the options. But they as might we have running. still been murdered at that point. As literally everybody else was. Right. So I don't know. They weren't taking prisoners. Right. I didn't see that. They didn't arrest anybody. No. They shot to kill. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so glad we survived that one. Oh, my God. If Kara and Alice had died, I would have been fucking bawling. <laughs> yeah, any any event where Alice gets hurt in any way, I would have been like, well, I'm done. <laughs> like, Not I'm done with the game, but I, I'm done emotionally. Right. Like, uh, we'll, we'll stop for a while and, and you know, I'll go, I'll go deal with whatever I got to deal with. And then we'll come <laughs> back to this later. But, yeah. but uh, speaking of which, not because of that, but because of the fact that this has been an episode that's been over an hour long... Uh, we're done. We're done today. Oh there were my a lot god! Of, uh, trees that we had to read, <sighs> and a lot of decisions we had to make. And now the hard part belongs to all of you who are watching, because now you have to figure out what are you going to say in the comments about this one. That's what I want. <laughs> How are you going to take your opinions about this friggin' episode? <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> and leave those opinions in the comments because, as always, we want them. We want your opinions. We want your feedback. Um, yeah, you're going to have to, like, regurgitate some words <laughs> and then still feel like those words cannot possibly encapsulate <laughs> the ridiculousness that is this episode. In In my opinion, though, if you'll allow me to switch things over here slightly, in my opinion, though, this... This is the thing to end it on. Yeah. You did an incredible job. Because we are at towards the very end of this game and every named main character that could have come with you did come with you. Incredible job. Yeah. So, if nothing else, folks, leave your congratulations for Amy for that feat in and of itself. Thank you. In the comments below, because that is fantastic. I am... So impressed. <laughs> Not because it's like, well, nobody can do it. Because as you can see, the percentages, the majority of people save everyone. Because even Simon is 51%. Right. But this is your first time playing this game. Everything was so goddamn frantic running through all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And you still managed to save everyone on your first try, first run through. So, yeah, I'm quite impressed. Nicely done. Um, so yes, any and all thoughts that folks have in the comments down below. Thank you so much for yeah, watching. For su here. Yes, definitely. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. I mentioned earlier, liking, sharing, subscribing, ringing the bell, all that good stuff. Check out other channels, etc. Whew, it's time to go to bed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is nuts, man. Wow. We will be back next week with maybe the fin Again, I, I, I say this a million times. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, we keep well, thinking it's going to be the finale, and then it just gets more and more and more intense. Yeah, but it seems like this is winding down now. The, the FBI retreated. Like, Kara and Alice are working their way towards the border. We'll see where the rest of Jericho is going at this point. But either way, we, we will be back next week with this episode, with the next episode of this series, whether it's the next and or the last, I, I couldn't tell you, but you'll find out next week. So yeah. thank you so much for joining us. Please uh, let us know your thoughts, as I said. So that's, that's going to be the end. I'm going to close this out. So <laughs> whew, for now, from us here at the Geek for All family of channels, I have been Joe. And I'm Amy. And as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody.